Hello, 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 welcome back to TR3D channel on YouTube. Today we have got another legacy weapon in the spotlight for you. It is this bad boy, the two shot explosive ultra sight laser rifle of doom. Now I've been playing this game for just over a year now and I've seen about five or six players with this gun and they uh, set it up differently to what I have. They had theirs fully automatic and I haven't done with mine. I've gone with a single shot and I'll tell you for why. It's because the, there's one major flaw with this weapon and that is that the condition of it uh, ruins really fast. You can only kill about 25 enemies with it until it breaks. What about the solution? And it is that. It is sticking this card on, which is press the inspect button. It makes your guns break 50% slower. So with this perk card on, you can make it last a lot longer. So let me show you what I mean. Also, when I um, fixed the gun, and I got it, it was almost broken. What I did, and that wrong button, I put this with the condition doubled which is this card it's the weapon artisan card which is here and this will give you it will make you fix your gun be able to fix your gun hang on where's it gone so 200 percent above its normal condition so basically you got t times two life on the gun and with the perk cards that makes your weapon break slower we should get a decent amount of run time out of it anyway let's put it to the test as always i'm using the adrenaline card which stacks up kills which makes it a bit easier another plus as well for having it on simulator instead of fully is that money you can control Shooting, you also get more in the magazine. You get 36 shots instead of 24. So therefore you're, laced, what, you're wasting less shots and your condition of your gun is going to last a lot longer. But as this is a two shot explosive weapon, you've got to stand back a bit. Even though I've got the fireproof card on, which stops me taking so much explosive damage, if I'm too close, I can still one shot kill myself. Very powerful weapon. And the funny thing is, like I said with my other legacy weapon, the Gatlin laser, if you change it to prime, it doesn't do hardly any difference whatsoever. Apart from you gotta pay for expensive ultrasight ammo, which I'd rather not. I've tried it. And it doesn't work now, but it's always best to have a out. I think that's different. So I prefer. I think he glitched out, hasn't he? That was strange. So yeah, I prefer this setup. I can control the amount of shots I'm firing. The condition of the gun lasts a lot longer. You can only kill about 25 enemies on one lifespan of this gun, and you have to repair it. It's a nightmare. Now we've killed about 20, 30, I reckon. We're on now. And it is on. There's still plenty left. There's still, still plenty of life left in it. That'll be one lifespan gone by now. If that's fully automatic. It'll be dead, I'll be repairing it. It'll be really annoying. So, I've got a reshuffle. I've shuffled all my cards around just to fit in with this gun because I love it. It's really powerful, it's really good. If you ever get a chance to get hold of one, I would go for it. I had to pay a lot for it. I paid, I think it was 50,000 flux. Um, I had an explosive minigun, a two shot explosive. Um, Handmade and a few other bits. You could say I've you know, paid over the odds for it, but it's like all we've got is all we've got to try out. And I've got it, and I'm very happy with it. So, 
It's all good. So it does do some serious damage. So basically this setup is like a shotgun. It's also got the beam splitter on it. So it's split in one shot into four. And because it's um, two shot, that means it's going into eight. So I've got eight shots coming out at once with the explosive damage on it. And that's why if I get too close, I end up killing myself because it is very powerful. And to be honest, I prefer it. Out of my other legacy weapons. If you haven't seen the videos, have a look. It is uh, the two shot Tesla. Let me load up. Two shot explosive uh, Tesla, shall I say. <clears throat> it's pretty good. But it's just not as good. I mean, it's actually more powerful than the um, laser, but it's only throwing two shots at once with this setup, anyway. Yeah, you know, can put this on fully automatic again. It just wait for my ammo. It's got quad. You constantly reload it when you're 15 shots. So therefore, yet again, I do prefer it where I can control the shot. Grab the monster here. And the thing is, with all these legacies or any weapon, if you've got the perk card, well, I say any weapon, any explosive weapon, if you've got the perk card, uh, let me show you. This will give you a little bit of an extra boost. Make sure explosive. Explosives with sixty percent extra damage. It will make a little difference in any explosive weapons that you have got. It's always worth sticking it on. So yeah, this is my second favourite legacy. Best one. Let's go over there. Yeah, it turns into green. Ash, well, I love. So where did that legendary guy have lost him? Of course, my other legacy weapon was, or is, should I say, in the other videos. Like, where's it gone? I'm not pressed the wrong button. That one. And this is the Gatling laser. It's not too short though. It's, just, it's got the um, explosive damage with the burning damage, which is pretty good. I still prefer the laser rifle. It's just more fun to use. Good. It hit. Stops firing for some reason. So he's got to jump in the air a little bit. Get it starts spinning. Thank you. He doesn't want to die that, does he? eventually. Let me take this opportunity to remind you that I've got over 2 million sim, uh, super sim packs still left in my vending machines. I need to get rid of them 
as quickly as possible so please take them out use them dump them do whatever you want with them i don't want them i can't use my storage because of them i've got too many so please take some you also ran away in there as well and a little bit of flux now and again so keep an eye on that anyway back to this video we've almost wrapped it up going to kill a few more ghouls so yeah you can see as I say you can see why this is one of the better legacy weapons and you can see why they stopped making it in the game and that's what making it drop very overpowering and in the wrong hands like mine you just end up killing yourself all the time what did I leave behind? not a lot Right then people, that wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Keep them peeled for my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do tick a like and we'll see you in the wasteland.